Hi there. This is the quickest video ever on how to jumpstart a laptop uh, cell that you salvaged from a laptop battery that will simply refuse to start. Like we have number 4 here. As you can see, not charging. Let me go here. The voltage is way too low. The voltage will start to increase but not enough for this thing to be able to give it a charge. So let's get to it. Okay, so what I'm using here, as you can see, I transformed this, I, I think it's the cheapest Chinese adapter out there. I'm 99% sure you cannot find a cheaper one. It's uh, one where you can select the voltage. I'm mostly starting on 3 volts and going to maximum of 6 volts because this thing does not output 300 milliamps. This thing doesn't output almost anything. It's extremely, extremely weak and light and whatnot, so I'm sure I cannot damage these cells with it. It will blow up way quicker than the cells, so I need to keep my eye on it while doing this. I cannot leave the room, I'm staying right here. And in the end, I've put uh, two alligator clips, positive, negative. So what I'm doing at this point, plug this thing in, take out the cell that uh, my charger is unable to jumpstart by itself because this thing knows a bit how to jumpstart a, a bad cell but it's unable to do it with this particular one because the voltage is way too low. Okay, connect that to the positive. As you can see, I do not break off the tabs from the cells that I recover from laptop batteries uh, just because uh, they are handy to solder onto. Okay, we have negative here, positive here. I am on 6 volts, but again, that string thing will drop the voltage like crazy. So, let me put uh, this thing on the battery to measure it. Hopefully, I can actually let it stay in there somehow. I cannot. Anyway, let's measure it before giving it anything. Can you see it? One, one nine two. Let's give it power, and it it will slowly start to rise. And just let it connect it like this until you go over three volts. 3.1, 3.2, that does the trick in my case. It will probably take a bit of time, 5 minutes max. Always, and I mean always, check the temperature of the battery, check the temperature of this thing. I know for a fact that mine never heat up in uh, 5 minutes, but yours uh, might, so if it heats up, stop it. And always when playing with uh, cells, lithium cells like this, make sure you have uh, a fire escape so you can throw this thing far, far away. And I don't know, maybe have a sand bucket or something you can throw it in and cover it with sand. Make sure you are safe. That's really, really important because these cells uh, can catch fire, can blow up, can hurt you, can burn your house down, whatnot. Again, be safe. So this thing should be still rising. As you can see, 283, 284. We will leave it just a few more minutes in here. So let's get back to this thing and see how we are doing. 303 volts. 304. Yeah. 
I think we are enough. So I'm going to give this thing a try. Okay, really quickly shut this off, remove this and plug in your battery. So, let's see. And it's starting to charge. Ta-da! So we have just jump started this cell. I did the same with this one. And uh, just as a side note, from this uh, battery uh, pack, these six cells right here and two of them that I already removed, you, you probably saw in the video, they were right here. These two cells were the only thing that were uh, preventing it from uh, charging the battery. This was from an Acer laptop. These are Sony cells. And the uh, two that I this already tested uh, have over 2000 milliamp powers, and the original uh, rated capacity is 2200 milliamp powers. So, that cells have over 95% of the rated capacity after a few years. So, the cells, in my opinion, are in perfect shape, and these ones simply dropped below the minimum voltage that the electronics would accept in that. Uh, um, laptop battery so it refuses to charge I'm quite curious on how much capacity these two actually have I will just show you uh, after, uh, when I end this video just as a, a, a side note this has nothing to do with the jump starting but I'm quite mad that the uh, laptop battery packs uh, commit suicide in, in this particular way they just refuse to charge cells when they go below a certain voltage. This one, look here, it already has about 1340 amp, 41 uh, milliamp hours. And this was not charged by that battery pack uh, anymore. Let's see about this one, but I'm thinking it will have, uh, <laughs> like this one, quite a bit of capacity left. Not perfect like the others probably, but still quite good and that battery will refuse to charge no matter what I did. That's not fair at all. So yeah, let this thing uh, actually not charge. I will go into normal test mode to see its capacity. You can see the voltage is dropping, but this thing will stabilize in a second and it will start to charge it once again. So this thing has been jump started. An update later during the day. So this is the first cell that uh, was below the minimum voltage and uh, the cell pack refused to charge it. We have 1402 milliamp powers. Another cell from the same pack has about 260 milliamp powers. So this means this cell only has about, uh, normally these cells are 2200 milliamp hours cells when they are new. Maybe they are not uh, even that, that is the, the spec of them. So this bad cell has still more than 60% of the capacity left in it, but the battery pack decided not to charge it anymore because it just drop, dropped uh, below the minimum voltage. Uh, I don't like that. I don't believe that this cell can be used. As you can see, it doesn't have an internal resistance that would suggest uh, any uh, huge damage to it. This should be way, way different than in the other cells if this was actually damaged. So it's just a bit weaker. Plant obsolence, again, this shouldn't be happening. So yeah, I, I still have uh, two other cells from that uh, particular battery pack that I want to test. And this one, uh, the one that I put in this morning when I started uh, filming, only now uh, for 43 minutes, 
is testing the capacity left. It took a really long time to charge it as uh, this uh, other battery. Uh, so that means that maybe this one will actually have a bigger capacity than this one. Because uh, normally when it takes a long time to charge it, uh, it actually means about uh, equal amount of time approximately to discharge it. So, yeah. <sighs> this shouldn't be happening, but it is. So, uh, yeah, jumpstart the cells. You probably still have a lot of life left in them, even if they are under the minimum voltage. But again, be careful for fires, overcharging, what not, overheating, yeah, whatever. And the problem cell is charged. Almost 1400 milliamp hours, and uh, that is almost 70% of the original spec capacity. Maybe 60% if you want to be conservative, whatever. The idea is that uh, if the new battery would hold for 3 hours, this battery should have still worked for more than one and a half hours. But the electronics decided to cut off. Because this cell went below voltage. Now, I understand that uh, there might be some safety concerns for lithium cells that go below voltage. But if you search online, there are a lot of people reusing cells like this and it seems that it's not necess necessarily true that a cell that went below uh, the minimum voltage is bad and it's not necessarily true that a, uh, a cell that never went below voltage uh, minimum voltage is good so uh, I don't know uh, battery manufacturers seem seem to use this uh, cell behavior um, as as a way to make you buy more batteries. It's it's that simple. They basically use it in their advantage, and there's nothing you can do because they will uh, wave the safety flag in front of our eyes, which might be a bit true. But I think it's not the main reason why they do this. It just works well for them to buy uh, to sell more batteries. So yeah, that's it, guys, for this video. So you can jump start to sell like uh, that that went below minimum voltage and nothing wants to charge it anymore. Yes, it might have uh, a reduced capacity, but this particular capacity is still way better than. Uh, um, cheap Chinese counterfeit whatever you want to call them cells so this still can be used for uh, uh, I don't know torches uh, or flashlights whatever you want to call them stuff like that uh, without any issues so yeah of course again uh, be careful when charging them make sure they do not overheat what not all of those saf safety concerns do your research online, make sure you are safe while uh, trying this, but at least I have never had uh, problems like that. So yeah, that's about it guys for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, hopefully this video helps you and you've enjoyed it. If you have any more information, feel free to, to tell us uh, in the comments. I don't know, maybe give the video a like, subscribe to my channel and uh, as always, see you in the next one. Bye.